Before I dive into this video, I want you guys to absolutely destroy that like button down there. If we can get to a thousand likes on this video in the first 24 hours, I'm gonna double up my content output for the next week. That's right, two videos per day. Now we're already gonna do a second video later today. That's already been decided, but I just want you to see if that's something you're interested in. And you know what, if it is, that's what destroying the like button's for. All right, let's get into the video. One of the most requested things for Nintendo to add, not just for Switch 2, but in general to their ecosystem has been a universal achievement system. Uh, you know, trophies like what PlayStation has or the gamer score thing, like what happens with, you know, Xbox or even Steam has achievements and so does Apple Arcade. And it's been kind of just normalized for a couple decades. But there's one major platform holder that has not provided universal achievements, and that is Nintendo. Now, Nintendo has some minor achievements here and there. There's things you can do to earn like extra platinum points for doing things in some of the mobile games Nintendo has. And there are certain games that have like sort of built in achievements. But for the most part, Nintendo does not have achievements in all their video games let alone do they have a universal achievement system so even when like third parties bring their games over if they don't build an achievement system within the game and they rely on a systems achievement system a game will have achievements on something like xbox or playstation or steam but not on nintendo hogwarts legacy is a nice example of that it's a game i've been playing lately on my switch and frankly there's no achievements now as someone who's grown up with nintendo I never really felt this strong desire to want achievements, but I get that there is a large segment of people that do enjoy achievements. And for the longest time, I had wondered, why has Nintendo never added a universal achievement system? And will they potentially have one in the future? Well, we got some news on this, thanks to Kit and Krista. Kit and Krista, if you guys don't remember, they used to host Nintendo Minute for Nintendo themselves, and they have a combined 20 years experience working at Nintendo and have talked to several former employees, but it turns out they were in on meetings and stuff and they decided to finally reveal why Nintendo doesn't do achievements. Like what's the big deal? Well, before we get into that, if you're enjoying our news coverage here for this and all things Nintendo, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it, but you know what? I don't want to make you guys wait too much longer. So let's just go into what Krista had to say about why Nintendo will not allow achievements. And now, now it's like very, Nintendo is very, like we, we definitely brought up achievements at times, especially for like very big, like online games, like a Splatoon, you know, for example, or like a Mario Kart. It's like, oh, it'd be kind of cool. What about one day having these achievements? But it's like, no, because they're so focused on this idea, like we don't want to make anyone feel less than or more of. Well, no, look, I actually understand this. So we have more because this turns out to be a much deeper seated thing than simply Nintendo not wanting uh, us to be able to tout over each other. Right? Hey, look, it happens anyways, right? We, we as people tend to be like, oh, I'm a better at this game or I'm just a better gamer than you. And we see all the bickering that happens online, but Nintendo doesn't really want any part of it. And one thing about having gamer scores and trophy lists, you know, did you platinum this or is your gamer score that? It does create ways for people to compare themselves. And yeah, that ends up uh, taking away from, I guess, some of Nintendo's messaging out there that, you know, no one's really better than each other just because you have a higher gamer score or a higher achievement system. But it actually goes deeper than that because, you know, maybe Nintendo has been playing around with achievements in certain games. Clearly, certain developers at Nintendo like achievements. And you know what? Third-party companies love achievements. So if anything, you could just create an achievement system that your games don't use, but you let third parties use because they have these achievements everywhere else. So who was Nintendo to dictate to other game makers what they should or shouldn't do with their games. Well, it turns out Nintendo's reasoning goes much deeper than just worrying about people being able to tout how much better they are than their friends. Here is what Kit had to add to this conversation from a meeting that happened internally at Nintendo. It's also that classic thing of like, somebody else has done it, so we need to come up with a different to, way true, to do it true. if we want to do it at all. Yeah. I remember, I think you were in this meeting too. This was like a pre E3 meeting. Somebody pretty high ranking got absolutely eviscerated in a meeting by another person who was very high ranking because they were su they were suggesting 
doing some things in the style of Microsoft. Like, why don't why don't we do like Xbox does this thing really well? Why don't we do that? And this was like a really like packed full meeting. Oh, I'm trying to remember. And this person was like a senior director. This person got eviscerated in that oh, meeting. Of like, no. we do things our way. This is the Nintendo way. We cannot simply follow oh, I do remember this the now. path of what Xbox. Like, it yes. was just like it went on and on. I was like, it was like a 20 minute lecture. I'm gonna just <laughs> disassociate right now. <laughs> I think I was already getting a headache for being in that really bright room. What's that thing from Shogun? The eight-walled garden or the eight-walled eight fence? Eight I'm, I'm going to go step eight, eight layers behind this fence right now. <laughs> I'm going to bury myself yeah. beyond the eight-walled fence, eight-fold fence, whatever. Man. <laughs> Pretty wild that, like, these are two high-up execs, and one of them just got, you know, brought up, hey, why don't we just do things like Xbox does, like Xbox 360 does, and the other high-up exec just did a 20-minute rant eviscerating them that just boils down to hey we can't just do what others are doing that's just that's not what nintendo does we don't take what others are doing and just copy paste we have to find our own way of doing it and you could argue that's why it took so damn long for nintendo to launch a subscription service on their systems which again i don't like that nintendo has the nso uh mostly because the only reason i have NSO is not because of the retro games, which I actually think is a pretty decent value today in 2024, but because if I don't have it, I can't play Nintendo games online. And guess what? That's the same reason I have, you know, the Xbox and PlayStation subscriptions as well. Without those subscriptions, I literally cannot play games online. And that is a bummer. That is not something that I actually want to actively support. So it is a little ironic that that was a meeting point. Then they launched NSO and they locked, not just, by the way, you know, online play behind it. They also locked the save in the cloud, being able to back up your game saves to it as well. So this is just, to me, Nintendo, for all the we don't want to copy others, sure seem to copy others with two of those things that I actually think are pretty bad. But that's not the brux of it. Whenever you hear NSO... Everyone thinks about the retro games. That was Nintendo's unique angle on the subscription service is we're going to go ahead in and offer all these games. Now, the other companies have their own stuff, right? You got Game Pass. You got, obviously, PlayStation Network, and, and they let you subscribe to certain different things. I just think that uh, Nintendo... Sometimes, Nintendo, it's okay if somebody else got to an idea before you because a good idea is a good idea. Let me let me flip the script a little bit and, and just ask Nintendo this honest question. What if somebody else was the first person to popularize the use of a control stick? Would you just refuse to use a control stick on your controllers because somebody else popularized it? I mean, by this logic, why do you have buttons on your controllers? Those existed before you. It's one of those things that I don't know that this mantra from Nintendo, and it's probably more of an old school one. It sounded like this meeting happened back in the Wii 360 and PlayStation 3 days. So that's a long time ago. And Nintendo's a very different company today under the direction of Shintaro Furukawa. We're about to see what he, what direction he wants to take the company in here with Nintendo Switch 2. But I'm fascinated if that attitude has maybe shifted a bit and maybe Nintendo will now consider achievements just because other companies um, came up with something first and you want to do it in this Nintendo-like way. It just doesn't mean that you can't find a way to do it yourself or just admit that, hey, a good idea is a good idea. Now, this is where I just get into my personal stance on achievements. I don't care that much about it. Uh, the other day, uh, Eric and I were playing in the Super Bowl on Madden 25 and I won, and oh, I got an achievement for winning the Super Bowl, and popped up, and it does that little thing, and it gives you that little hit of dopamine, you know, kind of like when you hit games at a casino you know, machine, when you're, you're hitting the slots, and all of a sudden, hey, you got free games, and you get all excited, and then really, you just won like three bucks, and it really wasn't that exciting in the first place, because you spent like 30 bucks to win three bucks, right? It's one of those things where the achievement, as cool as it is to see it pop on screen, doesn't really matter. Like, I was going to probably win that Super Bowl anyways. Yes, I did end up beating Eric pretty big. Uh, shout out to Scary Terry. Uh, dude, that guy, that guy was catching double-teamed touchdowns in the end zone all game long. But the point I'm saying is I don't get uh, the appeal of achievements. I never really have. The whole idea of gamer score, I, I will say there was a, a time when I was younger that there's one game in particular that I, I, I cared a lot about achievements for. That was World of Warcraft. I, I still play it to this day. But back in the early days of World of Warcraft and the Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King, like the first 
couple of expansion packs. Back in those days, I tried to get all the achievements, right? I wanted, I was an achievement whore. I wanted to achieve everything you could. And it turned out that there's not really, you know, a reward. I mean, sometimes you would get you know, a small digital reward, like a pet or, you know, a piece of armor or something, or a title you could put over you for getting that achievement. But in the end, it was all kind of fake. Like it didn't make me feel better about myself to have those achievements. So now today... As I play World of Warcraft and there's a new expansion pack coming up with the War Within next week, I don't like care. Is that is that fair to say? Like it just doesn't matter to me. Uh, if I get an achievement, it's usually just by accident because I'm questing or doing something, not because I'm actively trying to do it. And so I, I don't get the dopamine hit from the achievements anymore. Uh, the ones that pop up on screen on PlayStation or Xbox or Steam, like it just. Maybe I'm just older and don't care, but I know when I was younger, it was something I cared about. And maybe that's the thing with achievements. Maybe it's just more so appeals to a younger audience. So this isn't me saying Nintendo shouldn't add achievements. That's just me personally saying that I don't care that much. Uh, but that's all I have for you right now. Uh, we are going to drop a second video later today, much later in the day around, you know, dinner time or a bit later than that. Uh, we got some other stuff we got to talk about. But hey, I figured that this was worth making a video on because a lot of us have been wondering for a long time, why Nintendo doesn't add achievements, now we know based on people who actually work there and were involved in conversations on adding achievements. So there you are. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll catch you in the next video.